Hey Capricorn, Everlong Mystic here. So I have a I have a wolf spread that I made, and we're gonna get you a wolf message. So the positions, so you can do this for yourself at home if you want. This one is either unlimited growth or unlimited strength. It's kind of based on Fenrir. Here we have change that is known. So a change that you've been working on or change change that you know about. This is unknown change. This is something that's changing that you're not aware of. Here we have sacred territory. Here we have a fight that you need to avoid. Here we have a raven friend because the ravens are friends with the wolves and they help them out a little bit. And then over here we have psychic abilities, intuition. So let's get your sword, king of wands, okay. So the king of wands is um, kind of, I think that's what Leo got too. King of wands, there's, there's protective energy here for you, Capricorn. It's like being the, <clears throat> It's like being the protector and being the doer. You're the one that that does things, Capricorn. You you do them. You take action. You actually take action to make things happen instead of just dreaming about it, wishing about it. This this is the source of your growth is by actually doing things, doing something about it. That's like your superpower. <laughs> Now I'm really curious what's going to be in your sacred territory because <clears throat> this king of wands is, I mean, because it looks like deer antlers, just seems very protective. You know, I'm just getting family with this, this, I'm just getting family with this. I mean, the six of cups can be, you know, nostalgia, things from the past or whatever, but I think, I mean, it's, it's about the roots for you. It's about the roots for you. Having very healthy roots. That's how you grow your empire. And I do like the fact that the roots in this card are the only colored parts. They're so vibrant. <clears throat> These roots are vibrant. They're intricate. And... It's not what everyone sees. What everyone sees around you, like they see the tree. Look what Capricorn has grown. It's like other people aren't aware of what actually goes into it. All of the things that you do, right? So let's look at a change that's happening that you're aware of. That is bizarre. So we have Six of Cups coming out, and that was your clarifier, Six of Cups. That's weird. I think Leo got this and this in the same position, too. I don't know. Maybe I have deja vu. Was that real? Um, but the Six of Cups, this is like, um, I don't know, like, like, like memory bubbles escaping. It's like observing. It's like this observing... But the observing is instead of, like for, I think for, was it Leo? For Leo, it was like observing things from the past and letting them, letting them go if you need, needed to, right? Instead of like seeing them and feeling them and get all sucked up in them and you know what I mean? And it's interesting because we've got two cards of the past, right? And it's funny because I kind of wanted to bring up the past, but no, it was it's about the roots. And here it's like, I want to bring up the past, but it's like, no, you're kind of just observing. So it's like, there's something about, something for you, Capricorn, about, um, like,
like choosing or something like you're you're making conscious effort to not be stuck in the past and that's really cool so what kind of change are you not aware of what's changing that you're not aware of oh <gasps> very cool look at that so we have we have the high priestess which is that ultimate like like your higher self, your, your higher, like, you know, like your higher perceptions of things, your intuition, which we have a whole intuition section here. It's like the way you see yourself in the universe or the way the universe sees you. I don't know. There's something about the reflection here. All right, let's see. Clarification. High Priestess, Capricorn. All right, so we have the Four of Wands here, and I can see the focus, right? Because, like, somebody or something is gazing at this mirror, right? There's, there's some kind of focus going on here. And then we have the Seven of Swords. It's weird, it's almost like this, this fox here is completely aware of all of these other swords, but he knows which one is, which one is for him, and he is protecting it. I have a feeling this has a lot to do with, with authenticity, Capricorn. It's like, it's like right under your nose, you know, like, <laughs> right? Because, like, it's deceptive, right? Like, the Seven of Swords can be deceptive, but it's more like it's something happening right under your nose, this change. And it's the change, it's a change in your perception. It's the change in the way that you, you see yourself. So I was going to say something else, and it totally left my brain. Oh, well, maybe I'll think of it. All right, so let's look at sacred territory here. What is the sacred territory? Seven of Cups. This is all the things, Capricorn. These are all the things. It's almost like you have it already pre-planned pre out. All of the things that you're going to go after, all of the things that you're going to grow, all of the things you're going to act upon here. There's just a whole bunch of stuff. It, it's weird, it almost feels cluttered. And why would your sacred territory feel so cluttered? Is it too many? Is there is there too much here? And you're not letting letting some of it kind of float away? So Capricorn, it looks, it kind of looks like this, whatever this big, um, like this sacred territory that seems a little bit overcrowded is going to thin out. It's like we, we have the fool here, which is, which is, you know, like a very, it's a, it's a new energy, right? It's like a new beginning, a new something. And I'm just seeing this zero, right? As you zeroing in on what truly is sacred territory for you. There's a lot of options and it almost seems like it needs to be narrowed down a bit. And I think what this, what's going on under over here, this under the radar, that you're not 100% aware of this change, is that you're, you're already doing that. You're already focusing intuitively 
and narrowing this down. So if it feels like something is just weirdly overcrowded in the things that are important to you, like I, th I think you're subconsciously working on that already. Like you will get clarity on it. It will be either fine tuned. There will be it, like the choices will be narrowed down somehow. Because whatever this is coming in, it's something that you will be able to grow into something and protect. So over here, Capricorn, this is a fight that you need to avoid because wolves are very smart and they know when to fight and when to conserve the energy. So here, showing up as the star. I don't know why, but I'm getting careless wishes. Like, I know there's a song, Careless Whispers, but this is Careless Wishes. Huh. Are you getting carried away with what you're wishing for? <laughs> Oh, I know what this is. That's people pleasing. That's people pleasing. Trying to satisfy everyone's wishes, trying to make everyone happy, trying to be like the the everything to everyone. That's what you need to avoid. Because that's a con that I mean that that'll end up in conflict. So instead of avoiding the conflict, you're avoiding the thing that will lead to a conflict. Yeah, I don't I got that. Okay. <clears throat> So let's look at your raven friend, because the ravens help the wolves. All right, your raven friend is the devil. No, I'm just kidding. So the you have the devil here, which is very interesting, because that's you. Like in tarot, the devil is Capricorn. So this is either going to be a spirit guide or something in spirit that is extremely close to you. Like, it could be a guardian angel. So what are they helping you with? What is your raven friend helping you with? Capricorn. It's like, they're here, they're here specifically for you. Capricorn's raven friend. Oh, interesting. Look, so we have the star, which is very, very interesting because you have the star as these, like, this kind of like trying to make everyone happy, avoiding that, right? Because it just, it wastes your energy. But here, it's like we've got, you've got this raven friend, which is like a spirit helper that is helping you identify. It's like it's helping you tune in because the, the son of cups... Like, I know the Son of Cups is like the Knight of Cups, but I I sometimes get the Page of Cup vibes with it too, which is, for me, a listening card. It's like you're getting hints. Your Raven, your Raven helper friend is giving you hints with these, with these situations that you need to avoid so that you don't waste your energy on unnecessary conflict. And overall, it's, you know, it helps you out. It helps you achieve your your goals, not not other people's goals. And again, it's it's fine to help people, but you know what I mean. It's like we're we're talking about you. <laughs> All right. So the last placement here. This is psychic abilities or your intuition. Oh, and it's on fire. So we have the Knight of Wands, which is nice. Intuition on fire. Things are heating up in the psychic realm for you. Yeah, things heating up for Capricorn in the psychic realm. What is this about? No way, look at that. Cool, cool, cool. 
check it out. I'm getting total magician energy with this. And that's that magician, right? That's the, that's uh, mastery that is uh, manifesting, right? Look at that. So what's, what's cool is like, we've got this knight of wands, right? The wands are the wands. Here's the wand that's missing from this picture because this is a flaming sword. It's like you're being given the right tool. Your intuition is the right tool. You have the right tool. So I don't know if you've been like wishing that you had like a, I don't know, like a different Claire's showing up. Whatever Claire that shows up the most for you is the right tool. You can depend on it. You can manifest with it. <clears throat> it leads you to victory. You can trust it. That is super cool. So let's get, um, <clears throat> we'll get two Oracle cards for advice or just extra information for you. Gonna move these out of the way. All right, Capricorn, advice or anything Capricorn needs to know. All right, so we have num <coughs> number eight. <coughs> Excuse me. What's happening to me? <coughs> the universe doesn't want me to tell you this, but you're headed for some bliss and comfort. <laughs> All right, we have number eight, win, bliss, and comfort. Feels really good. Looks kind of pink there. It's looking pink and pretty there, Capricorn. Let's see, let's get an alchemy of astrology. I feel like this this bliss comfort here is a reminder Capricorn it's a reminder to take a break when you need to like don't don't forget about those moments of peace that you deserve to have okay <gasps> look at that purify I think Leo got that too man I don't know if I don't know, you you seem to be linked to Leo somehow. Oh, eight. I wonder if that's uh, Lionsgate stuff. I don't know. But here we have Purify, and it's in the 10th house, the how your house of fortune, which is probably one of your favorite houses. But you're meant to purify something, and now for Leo it was this some kind of emotional divination like some kind of like upgrade but for you i think it's something different what is what's what's capricorn to purify what is capricorn to purify oh yeah it's related to this All right, so, okay, I feel like this is just like like advice for your mental health or your physical health here. Like, don't forget about, um, don't forget about being healthy. <laughs> I don't know why this is coming up, but maybe you need to hear it. Don't forget about being healthy. Don't forget about getting the rest that you need. Because this is, it's like an act of purification of yourself. To allow yourself moments of comfort. To allow yourself rest. It's like, take care of your body and your mind. I don't know why it's coming out for you, but you'll know. I mean, 
Seems like it doesn't. It's not super related to your your tenth house, or but it but it could be for you because you're such. Because that's that's like where your source of power is. So you have to you have to allow some replenishing here. Some feel goods too, you know. All right, Capricorn, this is your message. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you later. Bye.